it going guys and welcome back to another episode of how to in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to build a basic quadcopter nothing super fancy nothing super advanced nothing that's going to take a serious amount of time but uh for any of you new players out there that have uh, joined recently this might help you out so we're going to simply start i always start with the well, I normally always start with an armored seat, simply because it won't throw you from the seat as you're testing consistently. But, for the sake of symmetry, let's start with the aquatic seat, the diving bell. Got connection points on all sides, so that definitely helps. So, let's just simply start with our basic frame. I'm always going to try and keep the... parts down low. For a quadcopter, obviously we need four. For a quadcopter, we obviously need four uh, protrusions, so we have room for all four of our uh, blades to spin, our helicopter blades, whether you're using individual or doubles. So I normally go with slopes like this. Something like this. And we copy these ones out like that. And then we just simply go with our little pieces in there. And a foam. that for all four sides. Alright, so once we've got our four angles out, we can grab our helicopter blades, or sorry, not our blades, our en engines. Slap them engines on there, as such as this. Copy these back. Now this is the point where we want to check to make sure that our helicopter blades are actually far enough apart, that they're not going to interfere with each other. Definitely have enough room here. And let's check on this axis. We do. Beauty. All right. So we're just going to copy these to all four. Now, whether you set them up facing each other in the same direction or in opposite directions doesn't really matter as far as the starting position. Yeah. So we'll just set them all facing forward. Lock this. Grab these ones. Give them a good old spin. Alright, 
So now we've got those set up like that. We're simply going to select all of our engines. Make sure they're all at max speed. <clears throat> now we're going to want to select them individually to make sure that we're controlling the direction to spin so that they're countering each other. So I'm going to have these spinning outwards away from the, from the middle. So this one here will be spinning, again, green is backwards, red is forwards. So this one's going to be spinning red, so I'll have that red as space. Get rid of the other controls. So if that one is red, that means this one over here will be green, which will make space. Get rid of the other control there. If that's green, then again, we'll come back here, make this one red. So our two reds should be diagonal from each other. This one will be green. All right, simple test. Build it in. Jump in the seat, space bar. Should raise you straight up. No problemo. Nothing hitting anything. You can see we still have some tilt with the seat control. But because helicopter blades can be a little uh, touchy when they start getting on angles or upside down, something like this, there's no way to correct yourself if you start tipping too much. So you'll obviously need some kind of a stabilizer in there. So what we're going to do is, and again for stability as far as a quadcopter goes, weight distribution is a big thing, so as long as you've got your weight lower than your center of gravity, put some weight here on the bottom at 30k weight uh, centered, it'll keep that, uh, it'll keep these propellers facing upwards, you will still get some wobble back and forth, but that's what we're going to do, use your angle sensors here, Let's pop one of these each one of these propeller blades. And again, we're going to set those angle sensors. I set them all and then set them individually specifically for however you like them. So we're just going to set them all for width of 170 and a direction of 90. We'll just look on this side here. This blue section is on the back, so we'll just rotate this with our normal rotation tool so that the blue is to the front. Same thing on this side. We'll just rotate this one so that our blue goes to the back. And then we're going to take some helicopter engines. I'm going to use the ones that don't require, that don't have any connection points on top. Because it'll just look better. So these we want to rotate and connect right to the side of our sensor. So in this sense the middle section isn't going to spin, the body of the helicopter engine will spin instead and it still creates the same forces and that way we don't require space on either side of the helicopter engine in order for it to spin and rotate without it coming in contact with something. So we'll just put a couple of these up here on either side, basically setting one helicopter engine for each sensor. Copy that over here. Now back to here. All right. So now what we need to do is make sure that we have the right sensor connected to the right helicopter engine. So, torque here is going to spin backwards, rotating us forwards. I believe, I believe that means this one here need to be connected to this one. This one be connected to this one. Let's try it. B. Space. Tip forward. No, tip back. likes to tip back. <clears throat> so we know that our forward facing one is connected, is spinning the right way, it's rotating us back, so we'll go back into build mode. That would be this one here is connected to forward. So we know that one is functioning, and our backwards rotating one was actually spinning us backwards. So what we'll do is we'll select this helicopter engine, set the speed to minus five, so it's spinning the opposite direction. Let's check that. That 
step, tip forward, tips us back, tip back, tips us forward. So that seems to work. Rebuild that. Go back into build mode. Do the same thing on the other side. This one is connected to the front. This one is connected to the back. And we know that the opposite angled one needs to be set to minus five. And we also want to select our uh, helicopter engines that we're using as our stabilizers. Select them all and get rid of the controls on them. The W and the S, we don't need any of that. We want the sensors to be doing all the work. So we'll go straight up in the air, tip forward. Does it let us tip forward? It does not leveling us off so it seems like we got opposition happening there all right back to the spawn point so we know on this side it looks like we got some opposition which simply means the back one here I bet is the one that's supposed to be at minus five front one we can put at normal five which it is Test that. Tip forward, it wants to keep us moving forward. That means we got the wrong sensor connected to the wrong servo. So this one is connected to the front one, it should not be connected to this one. Not this one. It means this one it should be connected to this one and not that one. Alright, B, test it again. Tip back. Level. Tip forward. Level. <clears throat> As you can see, it now falls level and it will actually level itself. Not necessarily pitch wise or yaw wise. But see, as soon as it flips itself upside down in the water like this, it should. It's not behaving properly. It should literally just level itself right out like that. Yep. Might be the angle, the 170 that we've got set. If you want it to be a little more specific, you can set it to uh, 175. That leaves only 5 degree of angle of play on either side. So that's why I use a diving bell as well, because these propellers will pull you up in the water. So if you keep yourself level, you'll actually pull, be able to pull yourself right up out of the water. So that's the basics of that, using those. So continuation from here, I would simply do the same thing on the back here with a couple of more sensors, a couple of more servos on the inside here, exact same setup on the back and on the front. And you'll have a completely level quadcopter. Now from there, like I was saying, you can add some weight underneath the bottom here to give it a little bit more stability as far as keeping the downside down and resistance is always good because then it's not flopping around super light that the bottom will want to stay down even if you're not uh, if you're not applying any power so yeah setting it up on the front and the back like that as well would help with your listing to the left and to the right. Basically, once you have that taken care of, uh, it's just all about putting some thrusters on there. So let's see if we can put a couple of thrusters on there, see if it'll keep itself level. So again, thrust being, you want it to be just under your center of gravity. So let's try attaching them down here where we have these. Put a couple of small thrusters, because they will fit. Rotate these pups around that. Pop it in like that. Let's go with four. We'll put one over there, one over there, and then we'll copy these ones forward. Now those are automatically going to be set to space as well, but spaces are bars here, so we're just going to select these four. And we're going to set them to a W. 
Now the downside to using W, A, S, or D as thrust or propellant is that those are normally the seat steering, so it's going to be amplified by pushing W. It's actually going to be nosing down instead of just adding thrust, So, which is why I normally put my thrust slightly below the center of gravity to counteract the fact that I'm pushing downwards in order to get forward thrust. So let's try this. Space bar, hit W. Of course, we don't have any steering in there. Steering it would be as easy as you can just slap another helicopter engine right on top. And a boom. Again, probably on the bottom would be better. So let's put it on the bottom. We'll spin it upside down. And we'll set the controls on that. So again, spinning backwards is going to make us turn backwards. So it's going to be A. D at 5 should be plenty, plenty. We can test that right away by just jumping in it and spinning A or D. And we are the right way. <clears throat> Space bar. Lift us up. We now have steering. W will engage our thrusters. Push us forward. As you can see, it's staying level because of our stabilization. We can rotate around. That extra weight in the bottom there is helping keeping it level when it is falling. But if you put the front and back stabilization on it, that'll stop it from tipping left and right. And again, that's just with two helicopter blades on each motor. You can go with four or you can double stack them on all four corners and get all kinds of extra power and lift. Or you can use heavy duty thrusters, use some dragon engines on there, some dragon thrusters to uh, give yourself more forward speed as well. And that's about the basics of a quadcopter. Hope that helped you guys out. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and thanks for watching. Ciao.